Right, so I've got a small issue, which is I've already done the perfect brown. Problem is, it's inside of a cue that I've already done, which is this one. Yeah, pretty fucking cool. However, this one is in a cue and it's covered by orchestral sounds from sub-libraries that we're not allowed to use for this competition. And I've checked the session and there's no way for me to extract just that brown. So I'm gonna have to try and make a new one. Um, so as best I can remember, I made this one using my guitar, which is why I've got the guitar here today. Um, so I would say the first thing to do is uh, to just kind of um, hit record and just, you know, make a noise. So yeah, that's a noise. We won't be needing the guitar anymore. Right, so, editor, who is also me, um, just insert that sound magically through the power of editing. That just means I have to do it now, doesn't it? I have just thought of another sound I could record and add to this Brahm, which is this sound. I think that's plenty. Right, so we have now imported the audio from the second sound source and the first sound source. So now I'm gonna have to do some, some chopping up. Five to 10 seconds, 10 seconds. That's not good. That's creepy. I mean, not really brown, but just like some, some creepy stuff in there. Now to do some processing on that one. Definitely not that one. That one is good. Honestly? Let's have that one. And have the other one as well. For well, the simple reason, I can have both. That one has a lot of reverb on it. Like, that one is pretty good. I think you need to be quite a bit lower, actually, so... Just gonna fiddle with that transpose knob. There we are. Yes. I mean, this is just the low end, so... And a low end it is. It really is a low end, okay. And it does that little bumpy thing, which I don't, don't quite mind. I like it a bit, so I wouldn't mind you being down 12. Honestly, those two together. That one's pretty good. I wouldn't mind a third one, just, you know, to add some extra flavoring. Spooky choir? No. Also no. Also not that one. Also not that one. Okay. So let's let's discard that one and do something else on that last one. Amp simulator. That one's a good one. That one's a fun one. So yeah, I'll add a lot more of that and a lot more of that, please. Maybe not ten. Oh, maybe ten. A bit more presence. and a lot more low stuff. Yes. Also, gonna have some reverb on that. I mean, this it has to be the biggest one, so obviously the size has to go up. I would say if we do some just general distortion, that would be fun. I mean, okay, it does work. Also, doesn't really work. Let's just do some automation on you. Get rid of that first pulse that I don't really like having. Last bump, so let's unbump the bump. Okay, it is a pretty cool one, although 
Yeah, that's good, okay. I need another one of that one, and I need it even more crunchy, so I'm just gonna wax and destroy on that. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna have to start fading it out eventually, just so it actually reaches zero by the end of the 10 seconds. Let's have a listen to that. There's a pretty loud boom, and then there's nothing else. Okay, let's have a listen to the... You need to be transposed. And also you need to be quite a bit louder. Right. I think you could do with some, some of that. No. Definitely no. I mean, this is kind of a spooky choir. Yes, it is a spooky choir. I thought so. All right, spooky choir. Also uh, reverb on there. Probably some cosmic re re reverb, really. Not too much, though. Um, although it has to be the biggest one, so 100% again. Also, yes, all the high cut. Also, more reverb. Yes, very big diffusion. So I'm going to duplicate you. And I'm going to make you uh, just a little less transposed. Can we go to 36? No, we cannot go to 36. I'm going to duplicate you once more. Yes. Yeah. I don't want you. There's something else we need to do to this one. First of all, I think will be pretty fun to have you auto panning. Yes, that one's gonna work. Not still not convinced that it's actually shining through, but you know. I mean you can kind of make it out, but only if you know it's there, so Yes. Just giving the whole thing kind of this like going back and forth kind of quality. I think that's gonna work quite well. I'm gonna do something else and I'm gonna try and add some contact stuff. Which might work well on this. Which is actually a dog that's no longer with us. How do we make you louder? We don't. Well, we can do that. Yes, but it's coming in a bit too late. Ah, this is a barn. That's not a barn. That's not good. Let's just listen back to that one. That is quite fearsome. Anyway, so let's put some more contact stuff on there, because those are just some stuff I've done before, which, uh, you know, is, is, is fair game. Is there anything useful here? No. 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 Maybe that one. Not that one. Maybe that one. I don't know what that is. That is a sound that I recorded. I'm gonna do something silly. Group all of you. Just so I have some more control over just the guitars. Okay, and I think one more for good luck. And it's going to be another one with guitars, which is not that one. Maybe that one. Definitely that one. Not that one. Going to do those. Okay. Because I know that these two definitely played a part in whatever fearsome thing I did for the first bra. So that's going to be that one. Which is also guitars. Yes. Because this thing is loud enough already. Yes. That's just menacing. I think that one's gonna work pretty well. So, there's one last thing left to do. Which is cheating. Ozone elements. Let's see if that has done the trick. I mean, yes and also no. That 
everyone's just evil now. Pretty happy with that one, actually. All that's left, really. Kind of call it a day. Yes. That sounds brilliant. Only, only, maybe slight issue is, um, I've just remembered the Brahm has to be in, 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 a, in a certain key, so. Small issue. Um, it's a lovely Brahm, but it's not in the key of B, and it has to be in the key of B. 940 hertz. Does that tell us anything? Right, so we have this peak, which is now in the range of 980 hertz, which should coincide uh, with a B. This might very well be a B now. Just to be extra sure, I've recorded a piano playing the key of B. Probably not the best recording, but it's not gonna matter much. All right, I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna reverse it. This is kind of what I want, but kind of not. Which should now, in theory. Now let's let's do some stuff to the piano. Right, so this doesn't wanna. I think I like that one a lot. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm thinking this one has to go down a bit in volume. Which kind of overlays the aggressive, gritty Brahm with a somewhat more melodic uh, piano Brahm, which kind of, I don't know, ties the whole thing together quite nicely, I would say. This is now a Brahm in the key of B, mainly because there's a piano playing the key of B, really kind of bringing together the best of both worlds here, I would say. So it turns out, taking the big, messy, atonal Brahm and laying a lovely piano B note on top really does help make it sound like a Brahm in B.